Hello folks, Happy New Year, it's officially 2021, I'm actually recording this on the 2nd of January, 2nd of January, 2nd of January 2021, don't know why I got confused there, well I guess we're all confused, after the complete and utter shit show that 2020 was, um, first of all, if you've made it, Congratulations. Um, if you're one of the unfortunate ones who died as a result of coronavirus, COVID-19, pandemic, whatever you want to call it, uh, my heart goes out to the families and who, who, whoever else has uh, lost someone or lost their lives. Um, I think we all, I think we're all breathing a bit, a bit of a sigh of relief. Uh, that is 2021 and we can put that year beside us but beside us behind us god behind us in the history books um i think we all need we all need something to look forward to this year we all need something to guide us we need something to to push for to work for in 2021 and i think what we need to do is for, for one, in my case, we need to stop watching the news, giving attention to the news, uh, undue attention to the news, uh, because to me, they were probably one of the main factors contributing to the mass hysteria that the coronavirus brought upon us all. Um, like I've said it time and time again to people I know, and I'm not really going going to repeat it here because I do sound like a fucking broken clock. But um, the scaremongering from news outlets, media outlets. I mean, showing a death toll every day, showing a case toll every day. That's never happened in our history. At least not in the mainstream media. It's never happened in our history. Um, they've never done it for cancer. For, for death from cancer, for murder, for suicide, which we'll talk about that in a minute. The, you know, they've never done it for any other cause of death in our history that I know of, that, that I know of, and let's face it, I know fuck all, but it's just my opinion. And, uh, so that's one of the things I'm going to be doing this year. I'm, I'm not going to be watching the, watching the news as much anymore because it's all doom and gloom. You know, there's never, there's never anything good on the news. It's all, it's all doom and gloom. It's all about the economy. Well, it's been mostly about coronavirus. Let's face it. For for the last ten months, eleven months, ten months it would be. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, me personally, I know I said way way back when I made those last couple of videos when I was sitting at the back of my house. On my days off, doing absolutely fuck all, but staring at the wall and hoping the year would end. I know I said I was going to go back to doing the YouTube, and I will eventually. I will eventually get back to doing the YouTube. The main problem is, I bought uh, a new laptop at the start of the lockdown because I thought I would start doing a bit more creative writing and things like that, because I, I've always been into in writing, I've always been into in, in creative writing, and obviously, I love movies, as is evident by this channel, and I've always wanted to have a go at, at writing a screenplay, and that fad lasted all of about a week, maybe two, probably just a week though, and I just gave up on it, like everything else in my life, I just gave up on it, and I don't know what that says about me. It probably paints me in a very bad light, and it I, it probably does. It probably does, and it's probably right. Uh, I'm I'm rambling a bit, but so I bought the laptop for that, and I bought the laptop. Hold on a second. Throat's getting a bit dry there. <coughs> Excuse me. 
And well, I bought the laptop for the creative writing, and I bought the laptop as well because my old laptop that I used to edit my videos on, I had all my software on, and my uh, thumbnail software. Um, it's just for some reason gone missing, and I've looked high and low. I've looked everywhere around the house for the past year, even more than a year actually to find it. I just couldn't find it, so. That was the two reasons that I got the new laptop. Now, the laptop I got was a Chromebook. Uh, obviously, a Google Chromebook, but a uh, Lenovo or something. I think that's, that's the actual make of the laptop. And a Chromebook's great. A Chromebook is a great laptop. It, it runs really well. Um, I've, not, I've not had a single problem with it. But the problem is, it is literally, it's like a Samsung phone, but it's a laptop. Um, there's no video editing software that I know of that you can use on a Chromebook. Uh, it's very, it's kind of hard to use. Like the, um, how to put it, the, uh, I know there's a technical term for it, but I can't think of it now. But it's kind of hard to use. You know, it's hard to figure out where everything is, and it's just. It, it was kind of for me personally it was kind of a waste of money now it is, it's a great laptop um but i might sell it and i might look into getting um an hp laptop or maybe um a toshiba because the one i had before was a toshiba laptop um so i'm, I'm going i'm going to do that and eventually I, I will get back into youtube but i think uh, you know the last two or three years i've sort of admitted to myself this is never going to be a job for me. Talking about movies, making videos. I just, you know, where I'm living in the world and my situation at the minute, um, it's just, I don't think it's economically viable to be talking about trying to make a career on YouTube. As much as I'd love to do it, as much as I'd love to talk movies, you know, review movies, do everything they got for a living, I would love to do it. I just can't do it. The job I have at the minute, it's it's great. You know, the money's great. It's it's a it's a handy shift pattern. It it's great. It's everything I need the way I am in my life right now. So YouTube, as as a as a career, that's out the window. It will purely be a hobby. Now somewhere down the line, if something happens, then great. If if I strike it big. Then that's great, but it is going to be a hobby. So, what I'm saying is, I will get back to the YouTube eventually, but it, it is just a hobby, guys. So, it's just the way it's going to be. Me for myself, I'm gonna. I need to get myself sorted out this year because I'll be 25 in August. I'm 25. I know it. It's not one of the big celebratory ages, but it, it is a big age. It's just 20, 25. Uh, so I need to get myself sorted out in many ways and uh, so that's the plans for this year anyway so uh, just checking on me folks hope, hope you all had a good new year's as best you can um, and I hope 2021 is better for everyone not just me better for everyone oh by the way 19 points clear at the top of the table love the Rangers so folks I'll see you soon. All the best.